The narcissist will not accept that you're not interested. They will not accept your lack of interest. They will not accept that you don't want them. They will not accept that you think they're ordinary or common. They have an overly high opinion of themselves. They have to believe that they are superior to you. And that you should see it as a privilege to even be around them. They are very arrogant and entitled. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. They believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. But this is only on the surface. Deep down they feel inferior to you. They feel unattractive. They feel like they are not good enough. They feel worthless and insignificant. But they are trying to override how they really feel about themselves. And that is why they created their false self. To make them feel like they're worth something. To make them feel like they're useful to someone. They've tricked themselves into thinking that there's something you would want. And that is why they can come across as being so arrogant and audacious. They can show a willingness to take surprisingly bold risks. They can show an impudent lack of respect for you. And they can be very persistent. They will continue firmly in their course of action in spite of difficulty or opposition. They will not even entertain the thought or idea that you are not interested in them. A healthy person can deal with rejection. They can deal with non-acceptance. They might feel sad for a short period of time. That's a normal healthy response to rejection. But the narcissist refuses to experience those emotions. They are shame based individuals doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. So if you reject them, they're going to think there's something wrong with you. They will criticize your physical appearance. They will criticize your qualities and abilities. They will target your self-worth and self-esteem. When you reject or display disinterest to a narcissist, it will cause a narcissistic injury, which will then lead to anger or rage. If they cannot get you to admire them, they will try to provoke a negative reaction. As long as they get some form of attention from you. Because it still makes them feel like they exist. It still makes them feel like there's something significant in your life. They will become very aggressive. They will try to hurt or upset you. Because it gives them attention. It gives them supply. If you don't validate their false self and the illusion that they are trying to portray. They will insult you. They will devalue and degrade you. They will sabotage anything that you are trying to do. So that it forces you to notice them. They avoid reflecting on their own behaviour. 
in their minds is justified because you rejected them. It hurt them, so they see it as an attack. And now they're just getting revenge in return for an injury or wrong they believe they have suffered at your hands. When you display disinterest to a narcissist, that doesn't mean they're just going to leave you alone. In many cases, they will aggressively pursue you. They will harass and persecute you with unwanted and obsessive attention. They will subject you to unfriendliness and opposition. They will treat you cruelly and improperly. They will cause pain and suffering to you without feeling any concern about it. They will spoil and ruin your opportunities or chances of success. They will do anything they can to try to irritate you because you rejected them and to them that was an attack of their character because you didn't validate their false self. Narcissists are very arrogant. They are very audacious. They expect you to be interested in them. They expect you to want them. If you don't want them, they see it as though you are deliberately trying to hurt them. They see it as though there must be something wrong with you or you're just playing a game. You're purposely withholding your attention to make them doubt their worth or significance. Narcissists have a strong sense of entitlement. They believe they have a right to your time and attention. They are too preoccupied with their own selfish desires and interests to realize or accept that you are not interested in them. They don't even consider how you feel about the situation. They lack empathy. They lack the ability to put themselves in your shoes. They lack the ability to share your experience. They refuse to accept that you don't want them. They will continue to force their interest and agenda onto you because they don't care about how you feel. They just see a shiny object. You've attracted their attention and now they want you. Even though you may not want them. That doesn't cross their minds because they feel entitled to you. If they notice any signs of disinterest, they just see it as though you're being difficult. Many narcissists lack self-awareness. They don't see how they come across to you. They're not aware of the impression that they are given to you. Because they've created this false self who is everything that you should want and desire. So in their minds, there is no reason for you to not want them. They don't consider that their behavior is inappropriate and unwanted. And even narcissists who do understand that you don't want them will continue to pursue you because they don't care. They don't see a human being with real feelings. They just see an object they want, a shiny new toy. They will continue to aggressively pursue you. But if you make it clear to them that you really want nothing to do with them, it will trigger them to self-reflect. It will cause a narcissistic injury. And rather than taking your feelings or interests into consideration, they will feel like you are attacking them. They will aggressively pursue you. They will harass and persecute you with unwanted and obsessive attention. While seeing it as an act of defense, 
they will see it as though they are trying to resist your attack. Because your disinterest caused them to feel unattractive. It caused them to feel like they're not good enough. And they are unable to resolve their emotions within themselves. They are shame-based individuals doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. So they pursue you in an attempt to project their fear and shame onto you. They cannot validate themselves because their false self isn't real. Which is why they require your validation. They need you to see them as something attractive or useful. They need you to notice them. They need you to compliment them. So that they can feel like their false self exists. So that they can feel attractive. So that they can feel like they're worth something. They will not accept that you're not interested. Because they need you to validate their false self. If you display any signs of disinterest, it will preoccupy and fill their minds to a troubling extent. They will become consumed with feelings of worthlessness and insignificance. And they will assume that you have caused them to feel that way. They act arrogant and entitled, but this is really just to compensate for how they really feel about themselves. They are constantly trying to fight these emotions, which is why they need your validation so that they can let go of their resistance to those emotions and see themselves in the way that they will want you to see them. But if you cannot do that, they will continue to pursue you. They will harass and persecute you with unwanted and obsessive attention. And you may think that this is because they're interested in you, but really they're just trying to resolve those emotions within themselves. It has nothing to do with you as a person. They just see you as an object. They just see you as a tool that they can use to feel better about themselves. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in a, is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsviver.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.